Hi, and welcome back to MyGlassTrades.com Glass Chat How To. Uh, today I've been asked to uh, show you how to cut mirror, which isn't a lot different than cutting glass. Um, this is a piece of 8 inch mirror uh, here, which is fairly common in the trade, used for small picture frames um, and other applications. But um, basically, I do the same thing. I find a, a piece of glass that's relatively close to the size that I'm looking for. Um, this one here, I'm looking for something that's 36 by 24. This is already 36, and it's 26. I need a couple, a couple inches off of it. Um, but the first thing on cutting mirror, what I do is, is check the mirror out real well. I check it out all over just to make sure, because if you have any imperfections in the mirror, it really shows up. You know, off of silver and on the backing, you, you can actually, you know, if there's an imperfection, you actually see through the mirror. You can see uh, uh, right through, right below it. Um, or if there's a scratch on the surface, it, it gets magnified uh, 10 times. But, um, so basically that's the first thing I do is look it all over. And this one here I just need to cut to 22 inches. And I'll mark this just like I, I normally do. Um, I use and like the cutters that have oil in them. You can see the oil in the cutter here. Um, it has a reservoir of oil that feeds down to the tip here. Um, I like that a lot because it gives me a nice, clean, slick cut when I cut it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and mark this here at 24 inches. I always cut just a, sh just a hair shy to make sure it's going to fit in my frame. So now I've got it marked. And then I use our neoprene sticks. This, this kind of stick I like a lot. It, the only thing I've done to customize a little bit is a double-sided um, sticky tape on, on here. It's, well, it's one side sticky, the other side's rubber. And what that does, especially after time, it, it, the slickness wears off of it. As I put my stick down, it doesn't slide nearly as much around on the glass uh, like it does if it was just a neoprene stick by itself. Um, so I like to do that to all of our sticks. So then I just go to my marks and line my stick up with it. And she lines up real well. I'll go ahead and score it. That's just more of a feel thing. The, the more you do, the better you get at it. And then this piece is small enough and thin enough that I can go ahead and snap it by hand. So let's go ahead and snap it. And that's all there is to it. So that's what there is to cutting an 8-inch mirror. If you have any more questions, come to myglasstrays.com or email me at mike at myglasstrays.com. Thanks.